So books don't usually make me cry. I think it's because I'm capable of emotionally disentangling myself from books and focusing on an appreciation for the author's storytelling capabilities. Usually when I get emotional over a book, it's because I'm overwhelmed by my appreciation for what it is as an entire story. I'm always more likely to be moved by a story for what it is as a whole rather than instances within it. Reading The Fault in Our Stars was an unbelievable experience. It made me cry. It made me cry like it was my job to cry and I got paid a billion dollars for every tear-soaked tissue that laid on my bed. I'm not gonna lie, part of the reason why I was emotional is because I am a nerd fighter and this story has been with us for the past few months. I mean, just having the book in my hand and holding it is an emotional experience in itself. But I actually think that most of the crying was out of appreciation. And I don't want to make that sound like I'm aggrandizing John Green, like I was crying because he is the god of the written word and I was just basking in his glory. Don't get me wrong, I think John Green is brilliant, but I don't cry because I think people are brilliant. When I say that I was crying out of appreciation, I meant that I was crying because I was so overwhelmed with how much care that John put into these characters. Their stories didn't feel like constructions. The sad, the joyful, the funny, the frustrating moments all ran into each other, sometimes all at once. And to me, that showed a remarkable understanding of the way that life is sometimes, which is not easy to understand and not easy to categorize as, you know, bad, good, and fair, but yet capable of being happy. Almost nothing about Hazel's story resonates literally into my life. But I think this book is a really important story for anyone who's ever been confused about the various ways that life plays out. This video is a really raw reaction to the book since I just finished reading it. I already feel myself wishing I had said things more eloquently, so I'll just um, leave it with this thought. One of my favorite English teachers in high school once told me that she included Song of Solomon in our literature studies class because it was the first book that ever made her cry like tears rolling down her face onto the pages as she was reading. She told me that the first time she read the book, she decided on the spot that she was going to teach it one day. And she said that was because she had to teach anything that made her cry like that. If I ever teach an English high school class, I'm going to find a way to teach the fall in our stars. Sometimes the only reason you need for teaching a book to the classroom is because of how human it made you feel. But even if I don't get the chance to teach Tiffios to a classroom one day, I went out and I bought three more copies to give to three friends I was thinking about as I was reading and crying. The impulsive book giving movement. So I definitely would like to know how you felt about The Fault in Our Stars and if you cried as much as I did. Uh, making this video is a little difficult for me because I'm a little parched from all the tears vacating my body. No spoilers in the comment sections, but let me know what your reactions are. Thanks for watching. Bye!